everybody welcome back to another third grade y lock video the first topic that we're going to be going over today is place value and in the directions it says what is the underlined place value so if you look at the top where i wrote where each place value is the one the number farthest to the right which is this number right here is known as the ones place and the number that's second, the second number to the right, right here, is called the tens place. And the third number is called the hundreds place. And the fourth number is called the thousands place. So, if we look at number two, for example, 42. The two is underlined, so... We look up to see where the 2 is in, and 2 is clearly in the 1's place. So, our answer is going to be 1's. Next, we're going to be doing number 5. 569. The 6 is the one that's underlined. So we look and we see that 6 is the second number to the right, which is the tens place. And we're going to be doing number 10, 1942. We see that the 9 is underlined and the 9 is the third number to the right, which is the hundreds place. And lastly, we're going to be doing number 11. 5,383 and we see that the 5 is underlined which is the 4th number to the right which is called the thousands place. Okay, moving on we're going to be doing even and odd numbers. So if you look up here I wrote what an even number is which is any number that has a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 and an odd number is any number that has a 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. So let's try doing some examples that have these numbers. Let's first do number 2, 40. Does 4 have 40 uh, is an even number because 4 is an even number as well as a as well as the 0. If the last number in a number, so in 40, in 40 right here, since the last number is an even number, the number is going to be an even number. Let's try number 915, number 7. 915 is an odd number. Because the last number, you tell you can tell if the e number is an even or odd number by looking at the last digit of a number. So 5 is an odd number, so it's going to be an odd. Next, we're going to try number 10. 647, always we look at the last number. We see that 7 is an odd, therefore 647 is an odd number. Even though the first few numbers are even, you always have to look at the last number to see if it's an even or odd number. Next, we're going to do number 14, 88. 88 is clearly an even number because 8 is an even number. And the last problem we're going to be doing is number 18, 5. 5 is an odd number. Next, we're going to be doing multiplication. So we're first going to start off with number 3. I'm going to just draw um, 3 sets of 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And now we're just going to count how many there is to find what 9 times 3 is. 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So our answer is 27. Now we're going to be doing number 8. I'm going to show you another method where you can do this. So you can do um, addition. You can add 2 5 times to get the answer. So right here I'm adding 2 5 times. So 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. But if we... Um, multiply 5 times 2, you'll still get 10. Or you can just add 5 plus 5 2 times because it's 5 times 2 and still get the answer 10. So our answer is 10. And the next one we're going to be doing is number 13, 11 times 6. I recommend that you always put the biggest number on, bigger number on the top. So we're first going to multiply straight down. 1 times 6 is 6. Then we multiply this way. This. So we, six times 1 times 6 is 6. So our answer is 66. And the last page, last problem we're going to do is number 19. 2 times 10. 2 times 10. So like in this case, I recommend that you put 10 on the top and 2 on the bottom. Then you multiply straight down first. So 0 times 2 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. Answer is 20. The last um, topic we're going to be doing in this video is word problems. So we're going to be doing number 2. It says 20 out of the 100 pencils David... 20 out of the 100 pencils David has are colored pencil. What fraction simplified of the pencils are colored pencils? So it says 20 out of the 100 pencils that David has are colored pencils. So 20 of them are colored pencils. And we have to try figuring out how much um, is the simplified total. So if we have to simplify them, we have to... Um, make the number smaller. So we can do that by dividing 20 to both sides. Divide by 20. Whatever you do to the top, you always have to do to the bottom. And 20 divided by 20 is 1. 100 divided by 20 is... Let's try it out. 100 divided by 20... 20 doesn't go into 1, 20 doesn't go into 10, 20 goes into 100 5 times. So 1 over 5 are colored, colored pencils.